What's up nature fam? We're back at our next camping adventure and we are at Point Lookout State Park in Southern Maryland. We just got here. Um, it's about 2.15 p.m. and check-in's not until 3 and apparently they're very strict about their check-in time. So we're parked in this like boat ramp parking lot right now um, just hanging out for about 45 minutes until it's time to check into our campsite. So we are gonna walk down. I think there's like a little pier behind here and like a park store or something like that. So we're gonna just walk around for a little while until it's time for us to check in. What's up guys? We're gonna take a quick trip up to the camp store, check it out, take you along with us. We're gonna be riding this bad boy. about to build our fire using the methods that we learned when we were in our survival course in Shenandoah. So I have a cotton ball and I have some aquaphor. That's all I had, but it's petroleum, so it'll work. I'm gonna rub the petroleum on the cotton ball. And we got Trevor. Getting poison ivy. <laughs> <laughs> gathering some little sticks. And he's got his fire starter with him, so. We're gonna give this a go. Put our skills to the test. We just got up and got ourselves ready. It is 10 after eight. I was hoping to sleep in a little bit longer this morning, but for some reason we all woke up. Um, we don't really have any specific plans this morning, which is something that I love because usually we're like rushing around in the morning to get somewhere or go some somewhere and do something. But um, this morning we get to just like chill at our campsite and eat breakfast and cook a nice breakfast, enjoy our coffee. So that's what I'm doing right now is I'm just like getting my mug together. Um, Trevor made me coffee out on the, um, on the fire in the little percolator thing. So I am um, getting my mug together and my creamer and stuff. I'm gonna go out and get a cup of coffee and we're gonna sit down and have a little bit of breakfast. guys so we uh, were headed down to look at the lighthouse and the main beach in the park and it's like 10 15 in the morning and they had the road blocked off because the parking lots are already full down there so we ended up having to park in the boat launch parking lot and we have to walk all the way down um, which isn't a huge deal like we're fine walking but um, I can't believe it's already full in here and it's only 10 o'clock in the morning, so it's a Sunday. So we're gonna go down and check out the beach. Um, we were gonna actually do the beach tomorrow, but we're gonna look at it and see if it's something that we really wanna do. If not, they have like a smaller beach up here. Um, it's a pet beach where you're actually allowed to bring your dog, so that would actually work out better for us anyway. So we're gonna go down and look at the lighthouse and um, just see what the beach is like and then walk back <laughs> and then we might actually go to the pet beach later um, so we can take Flint, but 
Yeah, they have the road blocked off here. So. Shout around. out to all the dads out there. Happy Father's Day. Oh yeah, Day. happy Father's Day. It is Father's Day, so maybe that's why it's so crowded here. Um, holiday, I don't know. We've never been to this park before, so we're not sure like what the crowd is like. Um, but so far it does seem pretty crowded and they do shut the park gates down when they're to capacity. So here we are walking down this long road. <laughs> the ranger said it's about a half mile to the beach and then another quarter mile to the lighthouse if we wanted to look at the lighthouse. So taking a nice little walk this morning. I feel bad because there's actually people carrying like full on grills all the way down this road to the beach. <laughs> I mean, they're packed up with their chairs and, I don't know, full cases of sodas. Definitely a popular area. Yeah, it's popular. So if you're coming, get here early. All right, so we're still searching for the lighthouse. But we're kind of down towards the end of this road. And there looks like there's a beach right over here. Mm -hmm. Right there. <laughs> um, and I think there's another beach like straight across here. Through those trees. So there's a couple different beaches you can go to. They don't look too overcrowded at all. There's definitely room on the beaches. I think there's an event going on or something, which is maybe why the parking lot is full today. I could hear like a DJ and like some partying going on over like in the main picnic beach area. So maybe there's an event for Father's Day or something like that going on today. But uh, we're gonna keep pressing on and see if we can find this lighthouse. I don't see it. You guys, I don't see the lighthouse yet. All right, let's go. to the lighthouse it was not as big as we thought that's why we couldn't see it from down there um it's an actual like full house yeah not, <laughs> not i guess not your traditional or maybe this is the traditional yeah i don't know so um unfortunately we can't go inside it does say that they're doing some renovations to the inside of the house and um they'll be opening it back hopefully late 2022 so it's gonna be a little while um I like peeked inside. It's just, it looks, it looks kind of nice. It's like an old, old house. It looks kind of cool. So when it does open back up, it'll be cool to walk around and take a little tour of it. It also looks like over here on the right side of the lighthouse that there's uh, like a pavilion that they throw parties at. Oh yeah. It's a bunch of I'm not sure what they lighting do there. and stuff. Oh, cool. And speakers. So. Very cool. Oh, can you see in the basement? Spider. Look in there. Spider. It's in there. Not a little spider, even little spider. Oh, it's definitely. Oh, oh. Oh no, you put your head in a spider web. Spanish sailors were the first Europeans to sight the point in the 1500s. Then in 1608, Captain John Smith, one of the founders of Jamestown, explored the peninsula. In times of war, the point has played a strategic role. In the Revolutionary War and the War of 1812, Americans kept a lookout here for British ships. During the Civil War, it was a Union stronghold. It says you can still find pottery shards and evidence of Native Americans. On the site? Yeah. Oh. Very cool. cool. the fishing pier we came down here just to check it out it was on our way back to the car it's actually kind of nice 
All right, let's take a walk down the pier. Here at Courtney's Seafood Restaurant, if you can see that in the background, it's a fine establishment. It is. It is. <laughs> um, Trevor was really in the mood for some steamed crabs, so we called, and they had a few left. So we're getting some steamed crabs. They had four dozen large crabs left, and we took two dozen of them. And I think she's trying to guilt us in that we took two dozen. I know, she keeps talking about how we took her last two dozen of crabs. <laughs> I'm like, sorry, like we'll pay for them. <laughs> we actually asked the ranger on the way out if the park is usually that crowded. And they said on the weekends it does get pretty crowded. Like sometimes they have to actually like close because the parking lots fill at like eight o'clock in the morning. A lot of people come and do like religious services. They even do like baptisms in the river and stuff there. So I think that's probably what we were hearing. Like we could hear like a speakers and like a party almost going on. But she said it does for sure clear out a ton like during the weekdays. So thankfully we'll be here tomorrow too, which is Monday. So I think we'll have a good chance at the um, the beach tomorrow it shouldn't be as crowded she also said like if you're staying in the campground one benefit is that if you go a little bit later to the beaches like in the afternoon like usually the crowd has already cleared out by then so um we might try that too but we're gonna pick up our crabs here and then go back and are you gonna eat them right away or are you gonna save them for dinner you're gonna eat oh, your crabs they're going, now. they're going down okay all right so we're gonna go have some crabs um and then get a game plan together maybe go back to the beach or something later this afternoon are at the pet beach <laughs> we're checking it out it's about 3 30 in the afternoon and there's plenty of parking across from the beach and it looks like it's a lot less crowded over there but we're about to find out man is bringing me to the pet beach on father's day sorry hon So far, so good on this beach. We really like it here. There's like barely anybody here. It's about four o'clock in the afternoon. We have the beach pretty much to ourselves. The kids are really liking the water. The dogs really like them digging holes. Good! Where are you, Flint? Oh my God. Flint! So we've shoved him in the water a couple times. I'm not sure if he really enjoys it or not, <laughs> but he got out. He swam out. Not so bad. I'm pretty impressed. We might come back to this one tomorrow. It's closer to the campground, this pet beach. And yeah, barely anybody here. See? It's the next day, so it's Monday. I don't think we filmed anything else after the beach yesterday. We were kind of worn out. We came home, had some burgers, had a little family game night last night. It was really fun. Um, we got up this morning and filmed a little campground tour for you guys, so watch out for that. That'll be out soon. And here we are at the fishing pier again. We're gonna um, give fishing a go. And as you can see behind me, the parking lot is pretty much empty. So that's the difference from a weekend to a Monday here at the park. It is empty, 
you can get probably anywhere you want during the week. <laughs> um, and it doesn't look like there's many people out on the fishing pier either, so we'll probably get a good spot there. So we're gonna pack up our fishing rods and all of our stuff and head on out to the pier. Wish us luck. First fish of the day. I'm not gonna lie, he did the work. I just reeled it in. <laughs> that was cool though, because uh, we've never caught, well, we've caught some things fishing this style, but we haven't caught that type of fish. So yeah. looking it up, it was a- Spotted sea trout. Spotted sea trout. And it had teeth. There was like two long fangs on the top and a bunch of little teeth. Yeah, Trevor got it. I'm used he to tried whipping to grab the large it. mouth bass. <laughs> we, we've had some good luck on catching like white perch and stuff down at my sister's house on this stuff. Uh, it's just fish bites, it's synthetic bait. But you cut it into the strips you want and it comes in a bunch of different flavors. Had a successful fishing trip yeah that was a good time not all of our fishing trips are successful but that one was that well, one was pretty good the thing with fishing is even if you don't catch something it's still a learning experience yeah but it's better when you catch yeah because i definitely <laughs> just lied and told myself that <laughs> it's getting kind of late it's like probably five o'clock now and we're heading back to the beach that we were at yesterday because the kids enjoyed it so much so i think we're just going to spend a little bit of time here all right, so we're gonna go do the beach for a little bit. Go back to the camper, make some dinner. We got a special dessert to share with you guys tonight. And we're gonna pack up and leave tomorrow morning. collecting like rocks or seashells this is like a really great beach to do that on we've been finding some really cool shells and just different stones tons of oyster shells all different sizes and colors I've actually found a couple rocks that I'm gonna um, I think I'm gonna try to paint them when we get home All right guys, we just finished up dinner and we're getting ready to make a little dessert that we were introduced to on our last camping trip in Shenandoah. Our survival guide, Andy, told us about this dessert called gas station dessert. And it's really simple. Um, and we actually had the ingredients when we were in Shenandoah and, or we were able to get the ingredients and we tried it and it wasn't too bad. So we're gonna show you um, how to make this gas station dessert and if you're interested in healthy desserts, this is absolutely not healthy at all. Lots of sugar, but it's okay. We're camping, right? Yeah. <laughs> First, I guess we'll show them the ingredients, right? Mm -hmm. So what do we need to make gas station dessert? Um, we, we need cinnamon, 7-Up, seven seven up, apples, apples, and, and honey, honey buns. buns. Okay, so we have apples. We have honey buns, like the kind that you can get at the gas station. 
and you don't need this much soda i just got the two liter but like a 20 ounce of any kind of lemon lime soda seven up sprite i got zero sugar to try to help us out a little bit um and i just you don't need the cinnamon but i figured cinnamon would be good in this so um i grabbed the cinnamon first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut up the apples we're gonna do it right over the fire in our little camping pot here so let's take the lid off of that guys and we're just gonna slice up the apples so once you have all your apples in your pot next we're gonna um pour the soda over top of them just so that it kind of is even with the amount of apples that you have in there And now we're gonna go put this over the fire and have it boil and what it'll do it'll start boiling and then um, it's gonna reduce down to make more of like a syrup and the apples are gonna become like almost like an apple pie filling okay guys so while um, we were boiling these apples down the kids got bored and they're off on a bike ride now so I lost my helpers um, but we boiled it down until the apples are like really, really soft. We're gonna open up all the honey buns and kind of like chop them into little pieces and mix it in with the apples. And then I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon in there. Okay, my helpers came back. All right, we have our honey buns mixed in and we're just gonna mix in all of the ingredients here. Do you guys wanna mix? Don't touch the pot, it's hot, okay? Be very careful. Parson, would you like to sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon in there? Yeah. Can you mix sprinkle? Looking good. Mm, it smells really good too, doesn't it? So no. <laughs> okay. Okay. Mix it, mix it. This would also be very good with a dollop of vanilla ice cream on top. How is it? I'm tired again. All right, guys. Thank you for making it this far and watching this vlog. We really hope you enjoyed it. We appreciate your support. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We'll catch you in the next one.